Okay, so it's trying to sign in. Okay, so it's going to confirm me. All right. Okay, so in the event, if nothing else, the unit's plugged in, it's still lit up, it's a real device, it's actually working. Okay, let me come onto this one and load the Google Play Store here as well. Whoops. Uh, let's see, where did it go? It's over here. Okay, they're both taking a few seconds to load. Again, my, I have DSL, but it's it's not the fastest in the world. Just to show that it's not it's not the new unit. Both units are more or less reacting the same. Okay, in fact, the existing the original MP2 is timing out. I want to keep this going as one full swoop of the video. Without stopping it, but we're not get we're not getting a connection that's working here. Get that key set one more time, let me Still a bar there. Okay, there's some more bars now. Okay, signal strength fair. Okay, let's try that again then. Okay, that keeps timing out. So let's uh, let's see. Okay, let me search for Android system information. That's a handy app that we can get useful information from about the system. So let me try to install that. And this is a brand new unit. You saw me open it up. Permissions, accept and download. Okay, it's downloading here now. Okay, while that's going, I'm going to try to keep retrying the other unit. I'm not sure why one's picking it up and the other is not. It seems like I shot this video during a bad connection time. Alright, this is still trying to connect over here as well. It's downloading. It's about half, half a meg. So both units should be responding better than this. Unless the router just died. Um, well, that's trying to go on again. Uh, again, this is running, uh, the new unit's running 4.0.4 of uh, Ice Cream Sandwich Android. Uh, and I think the upgrade of the uh, Rev2 on the, the original unit is running the same thing. So at the moment, we're stuck with trying to get an internet connection, it seems.
Okay, both units have uh, the capability of up to 32 gigabytes on a on a flash drive. Okay, here I'm getting connected on, on that unit, so if Bonnie picked up the connection, hopefully the other unit does as well. I'll try loading that again. Okay, it's installed the Android system information for me. I'm not exactly familiar with um, Oops, I just saw it there. So we go to apps. Okay, obviously there's no battery in this unit. Internal memory. It's giving an SD card, RAM, uptime, network, IP address. We have lots, lots of different information here that we can look at, similar to, to the other unit. We have an OS here, a 4.04. .04. Okay. Uh, various information on the memory. Okay. Okay, we can also get this to the normal, the normal um, setting information as well. Um, okay, so we have some of the information over here. There's no SD card. And these units keep use, I think, misinformation by calling it SD card. So there's the internal SD card and the external SD card. I'd rather call the internal memory the NAND. Okay, so wait 4.04, .04, various information about the kernel. So let's try to download the Atu2 as well. Okay, here we are there. Meantime, the other unit still, still can't load anything. Okay, let's install that. That's a few megabytes this time. It's picking it up right away. The other unit still doesn't want to acknowledge this. I don't understand that. But other people have posted measurements from, from the standard MK802 as well. So it would be nice to have done a side by side, but since that's not possible, we'll have to do what we can do. Um, again, the new unit has one gigabyte of DDR3. Whereas the MK802 comes in two versions, 5 and 12 megabyte and 1 gigabyte, and the NAND memory is, is 4 gigabyte. Obviously, both units have internal memory being used by Android itself, so there's that issue as well. Um, okay, it's installing this. Okay, the unit's still alive. It hasn't overheated. In fact, I can't, I can't feel any heat at all, to be honest with you. So, that either means it's not getting hot, or these this so-called air conditioning is working. Let me see if the top is warmer than the bottom. Just the top is slightly warmer than the bottom. The back doesn't feel any warmth at all. So either those holes are working. And by the way, you notice when I showed you the original unit, right, if this is the back of the black one, then it has this, this is now being blocked by my monitor. Okay, I'm not sure what side the actual chips are located facing. So that's, this is at least a good thing then. Okay, and the unit hasn't crashed. 
of the sample. So let's try and run the Antutu. to see what results it gives us. Okay, this version is up to date, it's telling me. Okay, that's let's test it. Okay, it's gonna, we're gonna run this the default test. I'm not gonna click overclock, I'm gonna click start test. Okay, this may take several minutes. So again we wanna try to keep doing this in in one swoop. So hopefully it doesn't take several minutes because otherwise I'm gonna sing and dance for you. Um, again what's going on here is this a, a new Android mini PC from a different manufacturer. So we're trying to show that that, that it really does exist. Um, a problem with the manufacturer so far is that they haven't released any, any information uh, and they haven't released anything beyond pictures of it. Um, Rico Magic, I don't know why, did the same thing with the MK802s originally and in fact there's still a lot of information that is not known about the MK802. Um, uh, for instance, like Bluetooth and shutting down and things like that. And the manufacturer, despite asking it over and over and over, refuses to give that information, refuses to release source code, things like that. This manufacturer is doing similar things. So, um, so I don't understand why there's this uh, wall of secrecy, so to speak, but, but it's there. Okay, and again, I'm trying to get this all going in one swoop so that, um, okay, have a few more bars on the other one. Okay, whoa. Okay, the other one finally got an internet connection. So I'm trying to, so let me try to install the Antutu on that as well. Antutu. Okay, assume this is the graphics test, yes. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to try to install... Whoops, what happened? I typed in the wrong thing. Okay, it's doing all the different tests there. So that they're singing and dancing for me. And by the way, if this was a game or whatever, you can see how it would look. So there's no problem. Okay, I.O. Okay, let me install this in the meantime. Okay, while that's going, I'll flip back to here. This is 85%. Okay, hopefully the internet connection downloads because I want to be able to do, do the comparison. Actually, we're going 30, 28 minutes on this video already. So I know that might be slightly painful, but um, there's a lot of questions about this unit. So let's let's at least get this one off the table instead of screenshots that people are claiming are doctored up or whatever. And I don't understand why the manufacturer couldn't have released this, but uh, you know what? We all love these units. We're 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 nerds. We're hackers. We're we're geeks. So so let's go for it. Um, if the manufacturer doesn't reveal the information, um, we'll have to find out so different ways from ourselves. So. Um, on that note, too, for as much as much as we can find out here, okay, look at that, 6792. People did not believe it. I, myself, wasn't sure. So I have a unit here, right? It's pretty orange. You just saw me connect it. You saw me open it straight from Hong Kong, straight from mainland China. And here's, here's our numbers. So it's real, right? Okay, you just saw me do this. Okay, this is almost finished now, finally. So what we can do is run that through. Again, this is all live. 